Hey everyone. What's your name? Matt. How'd that feel? That was unreal. Yeah. How many Matthew Eakin was a thrill seeker. How many times did you jump today? That's the second one for today. How many times did you jump full stop? A couple hundred. The experienced skydiver, base jumper, rock climber and mountaineer wasn't one to shy away from a challenge. You're going up, right? <laughs> Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> it's up for me! <laughs> His final achievement was summiting the world's second highest mountain, the notoriously dangerous K2 in Pakistan. After splitting from his group, he reached the peak alone, but during his descent, he disappeared. After a week missing, Mr Eakin's body was found on Monday, not far from the base camp he was headed for. In a statement, his family said, We mourn the death of our much-loved son, brother, uncle and nephew and very dear friend. We are grateful and comforted by the outpouring of love and support to our family from around the globe. Our thoughts are with Matthew's team still in Pakistan and we are eternally grateful for all their support throughout this period. Welcome to our office. Tributes on Facebook remembered him as an excited, passionate and generous person with boundless energy. It's pretty amazing being above 8,000 metres and looking down and, and seeing everything that uh, is below you because you feel enormously high and, uh, and you're on sort of the top of the peak and you can almost feel like you can see the curvature of the earth. It's a pretty special place. An explorer who lived life to the full. Ruby Cornish, ABC News, Sydney.